In one of the very first images taken with the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have discovered some of the oldest stars that have ever been seen. According to a report that was published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters this month, the stars formed approximately 800 million years after the Big Bang. These stars reside in dense groups that are referred to as globular clusters, and they surround a faraway galaxy that has been dubbed the Sparkler. There is a good chance that globular clusters contain some of the oldest stars in modern galaxies like our own. But it is difficult to determine the precise age of these stars. The new result could be able to assist researchers in determining the exact time when such clusters first started to emerge. Because of their diminutive size in comparison to galaxies, globular clusters are notoriously difficult to see from across the cosmos. However, this time around, a galactic neutral lens in space was able to assist. The Sparkler is one of thousands of galaxies that are located very far behind a massive galaxy cluster that is located much closer to us and is known as SMAC 0723. This galaxy cluster was the focus of the very first scientific image that was made public by the James Webb Space Telescope. The galaxy cluster causes space-time to twist in such a way that it amplifies the light coming from more distant galaxies behind it. When applied to all those distant galaxies, this additional magnification reveals features that have never been seen before. La Mia Mola and the other astronomers that she works with focus their attention on a galaxy that was elongated and surrounded by yellowish blobs. In order for light to travel from the sparkler to reach Earth, it takes approximately 9 billion years. Therefore, if the sparkles are globular clusters that shined 9 billion years ago, they may assist astronomers in answering the question. Mola and her colleagues analyzed the wavelengths of light coming from the sparkles by using data from the JWST. When their light first left the clusters, it seemed as if some of them were in the process of becoming stars. However, some of them had already formed all of their stars a very long time ago. This indicates that the oldest stars in the sparkles may have been formed approximately 13 billion years ago. There's only a short amount of time after the Big Bang when these could have formed, she says, referring to the fact that the age of the universe is 13.8 billion years. To put it another way, these clusters didn't come into existence until the morning, not the middle of the day. If more globular clusters around ancient galaxies are investigated, it may be possible to ascertain whether or not such clusters were typical in the early stages of the universe's history. According to Mola and her colleagues, they could also assist in deciphering the histories of how galaxies formed. Their group has proposed some observations to be made during the first year of JWST's operation that could accomplish this goal. According to Adelaide Claysons, an astronomer at Stockholm University, Prior to the launch of JWST, it was nearly impossible to identify minute structures from such a great distance, such as globular clusters. She was not involved in the new work, but she did lead a study earlier this year that was very similar to it. That study was about multiple galaxies that were magnified by the SMAX 0723 cluster. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.